Back to clearing my hard drive again. Last time I did this was in the high school stream. This is actually how I blew up on YouTube originally. I never really stated how I did it because it's kind of weird, but legit like the, actually the, the way I blew up was I had a bunch of different channels and I record a ton of footage. After I edited that footage, I would delete the footage um, and upload the video onto YouTube. And there have been times uh, when I was younger, when I would made a lot more offensive content, a lot of YTPs, a lot of stuff that was copyrighted, that people would just take down the videos and I'd lose them forever. I've lost quite a few videos. I've lost maybe like 300 to 400 videos, like forever, that I just lost the time. I was like, okay, I need to save all this footage somewhere. I tried so many different solutions, none of them worked out. I tried to cheese the crash plan system. I remember at the time, even uh, Amazon offered unlimited cloud storage. And then I was like, all right, bet I'm gonna do it. And it was way too slow. And then like shortly afterwards, they canceled their unlimited cloud storage thing. I tried to buy like uh, from jank, like salespeople like Shopee or, or uh, Celix stores on like auto buy stores. I tried to buy like uh, unlimited Google Drive partitions um, and I lost videos that way too because every time I would buy one of these partitions, uh, it would get deleted. It would get, like I would uh, have my um, permissions revoked from it and things like that. Cause they were like schools or institutions that owned them. Um, and it was just some dude in there just making money by doing that, by like screwing over their institutions and also screwing over the person who's buying it. I fell for that. I got scammed right there quite a bit. But um, eventually I'm like, you know what, even though Uploading videos to YouTube significantly reduces the quality of it. It'll cut the bitrate big time, regardless of that. If I just want videos just as a backup, right? Just just to store a mass quantity uh, of storage, just to keep as, oh, if I lose this video, I, I, I know I can get it back, you know? Maybe not the same quality, maybe 720p, 480p, whatever, but at least it's still there. At least it's better than nothing. So my solution was take all my raw footage, unedited, uncut, unfiltered from start to finish. No, nothing done to the audio, nothing done to the video, no cut, no, nothing. It would just go straight from the camera onto YouTube. And um, that's what I did. And I made the videos public just because, you know, because I was just throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what sticked or stuck. So I start, I set up a, a sheet, a Google sheet or whatever. And in that Google sheet, I wanted to do some web scraping. Uh, I wanted to do some backend work where it would go in uh, to all my YouTube channels. It would use like a token to log into them. I was like trying to learn how to code back then. And I didn't know anything about this, but I'm like, all right, cool. I want to set up charts and whatnot so I can track the analytics of all my channels without needing to go through the YouTube studio and, and constantly click lifetime rather than 28 days every single time. and. I won't, be, I won't be able to compare my channels. Basically, I want to be able to know what's working, what's not working. Um, so I set up like a very rudimentary web scraping thing. And I looked and I noticed my, my throwaway channel, the channel that I was using for my backups, had 600 subscribers out of nowhere. It was like the most garbage content ever. It was like, you know what it was? It was like if you took an IRL streamer and you uploaded their VODs in their entirety. That's what my channel was. That's how I know I'm going to be good at IRL streaming. Because when I wasn't even trying... I was getting more subs than people who try do. And I was like, holy shit, like I'm looking at this pie chart. This channel that I didn't even put any effort into is getting way, it's never what you expect. It's never what you expect, but it took up so, such a huge chunk of the, of, of my um, subscribers and viewers, particularly viewers. I was getting hella, hella views on it. And it was just all content that I didn't need anymore. In fact, ever since that day, I've never had a situation where a video has been taken down from me where I needed to go back and find the old footage for. Like, that's never happened since then. If anything, that's like fate. But that's how I did it. That's how I blew up and I started to hard focus on that channel. And I was like, you know what? Full authenticity. Let's go all in, right? None of this scripted BS. I did that. Um, I basically did like I pulled like a Ziz type personality and that's like what I do now on stream pretty much. Like this kind of content that I'm doing right now, it was much more exciting than this. This is very tame. I'm not going hard right now. I'm, I'll let y'all know when I do, but right now, actually I'll forget when I do, but I'm gonna ease into it. Right now I'm, I'm like taking it easy for a bit because I got other priorities. Like I'm trying to make some money first and stuff like that. Back then that was not a, a concern so I could hard focus all my attention on YouTube. And like within a few months, I had like 10K subs by the time uh, junior year of high school started. And it just kept on going. Like there was no end in sight until there was an end in sight, which was the copyright. But bro, you know how that happened? Legit, like it's so, it's so, so stupid. I made a YTP of a, of a trailer of Finding Dory. That was my downfall on YouTube. That was it. Legit, if I didn't do that, I would have retired by my 18th birthday. I was on track. 16 years old, gonna turn 17 in a couple of months, and I was on track to make $1,700 that next month. 
by YouTube. It was going to be my biggest month. The month before, I'd made like $1,200. But that's that's a living for me, even right now. I'm 22 years old, and even with all my expenses right now, I have way more. That's still a living for me. $1,000 a month is a living. That would have been insane. I would have retired by the time I was 18. I made a um, YTP, and I, I over blew it. Like when I talk to people about it, I was like, I just use frames of... No, I, it was fair use. It was 100% fair use. But I had done a lot of copyright stuff before and I had already had strikes. I had already had community guidelines strikes and I'd stopped uploading for a while. So my channel was already not doing so great. I was getting the majority of my viewers from recommended and search rather than subscriptions. So every time I uploaded, I would get less and less viewers um, on the new videos, but the old videos were popping off, dude. 400K, 500K, 600K, 700K consistently on the older videos. And then I got hit with the copyright strike from Disney. And then I got hit with a community guideline strike for uploading violent content. And then I got hit with another copyright strike from Ugly God. And then I got hit with another community guideline strike. This is all like within the span of like legit like three days. I got hit with another community guideline strike because they scanned my previous videos and they found that I had private videos from 2013. And it was like offensive stuff. And they were like, nah, th these jokes, nah, too far. Even though they were fine back then, too far now. Like, bro, the jokes that were said, by the way, I'm the one who should have been offended by those jokes. Like, stop being offended on my behalf. It's idiotic censorship. The censorship, Mark Twain said, he said, censorship is like telling a man he can't have a steak because a baby can't chew it. So at that point, I had two copyright strikes and two community guideline strikes. So I was really, I was pushing it. So I privated all my videos so I wouldn't get any more strikes. And uh, I lost a thousand subs in the first two weeks that I'd privated all my videos. Like the, the moment the strike would get lifted is the moment I would start to upload more videos. And it would happen over and over again throughout when I was 17 and 18. And every single time I would go back and upload videos and unprivate them, bam, more strikes. Community guideline strike for bullying and harassment. It was absolute garbage. A copyright strike from uh, Eminem's team. Uh, a community guideline strike uh, for uh, child endangerment, which is not... Uh, all this stuff was complete nonsense. I posted a meme of a kid smoking a blunt. It wasn't... The kid wasn't even smoking a blunt. It was a fake... Like, it was a fake blunt. And I got in trouble for, child, for like, showing uh, minors doing illegal activities or whatever, something like that. And then um, the major hit was like Viacom took down my video by Spongebob, which is like, bro, Viacom has taken down so many of my Spongebob videos, but this one was like, this was my first video to ever hit a million views. And it was actually enjoyable. Like this was a genuinely enjoyable video. Um, but by the end of it, I hated the video. Like it, it was not, I was still pushing it. I was still getting good views. But after this experience, it just left such a bad taste in my mouth. It just like, it like killed my motivation so much. And like, that's how all of this started. That whole journey of like such an insane struggle. Like if that never happened, if that, that whole copyright stuff, if that never happened, all because of Disney and Viacom in particular and Activision, if none of that stuff happened, I would have been, I would have been out here streaming with, with Ludwig. I would have been out here invading discord with call me carson i would have been out here playing games at phase like vlogging with uh jidian and all them like i never would have worried about money in my life i mean you, who knows what would happen right force majeure you never know what could happen so another crazy event could have transpired afterwards that didn't happen in that timeline but would have changed the things completely and made things even worse but i've seen how this sort of thing goes and i've seen how, how my peers have done it the same way i did it i would have never worried about money after that point, like in my life. So that's literally what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking out stuff from my hard drive. Um, I don't have much left. I had a lot of stuff back then and I'm gonna get back to it. But instead of um, uploading all my raw footage, I'm just gonna stream it and then edit those streams into my videos. So it's raw footage directly to YouTube or to Twitch. But yeah, that's how I blew up on YouTube basically. I didn't necessarily care about what I uploaded. I just uploaded and I just, saw what worked. No, no insecurity. That was the only channel I wasn't insecure about uploading about. Every other channel was like, okay, do I do this? Do I do that? Every other channel, I thought about it. This channel, I didn't think. I just uploaded and it worked out. You want to see the kind of shit we were doing? This was summer 16. Ah, oh, man, I remember when this happened. I was like kind of upset that it, it dropped off, but I, I brought it back up. This is a very small, like if you look in the grand scheme of things, the chan the it looked more like this spike right here was more like, didn't, and then it went up and it did whatever. This is what I was working with in um, 2016. This, that's not even when junior year started yet. I literally taken like the dream job of everyone else in the whole world. 